Welcome back everyone to the next tutorial. Today I'm going to make a simple t-shirt. To begin, just choose polygon or rectangle. In this case, I'm going to choose rectangle tool. Just draw on the right side window, which is 2D pattern window. Just drawing simple rectangle is enough. Go to another tool where we're going to edit the pattern with a set of tools. Choose add point split line. We are adding adding few points here. Now let me just enlarge this. And as you can see on the left side, uh, the same pattern appeared, but in 3D. And it's almost in the same position as on the 2D window. So now let's just quickly edit curvature to make some something that looks like a front panel of a t-shirt. Now choose edit pattern and select some points and we can just manually edit them and adjust, adjust to our needs. Now it looks a bit better. Now what can we do here? We can do a symmetry. So we don't have to re repeat uh, the same steps for the another side of the t-shirt. Let's go unfold symmetric editing with sewing, of course. And the sewing option will allow us to just manu uh, automatically sew both panels, front and back, that we are going to create in a second. Let's just quickly edit this. As, as you can see, when I edit one side, the other side is symmetrically edited as well. Okay, now let's go copy, paste. And as you can see, we got two the same panels. So we won't have to create another one for the back. Just this is the copy of the front one. And we can just manually adjust this or we can use the points arrangement points as I mentioned before, but for now let's use this method. Now go here and we will have to flip normals to have normals on a proper side. And now before we go to sewing, let's just switch the view to wireframe on surface. As you can see it doesn't look proper and as it should be made for IMView um, Studio and not only of course. So let's click, right click and go to remesh option, remeshing. As you can see, it looks better. You can re repeat the same step for the back panel, remeshing. All right, so now we can just sew the uh, panels. You can do this on the 2D window or 3D window by just clicking on the sewing machine icon. Let's try to do this on uh, 3D video uh, window. Just segment sewing and click here and on the back panel. As you can see, the same um, option appears, so the, the same view appears on the another um, window. Just click and remember to have the points, small lines on the same side uh, of the mesh. And let's go to the shoulders. And you can press spacebar or this icon to simulate. As, as you can see, we almost have our um, t-shirt ready. It looks like tank top. If it's uh, so in a different place, you can just drag and drop to make it look better. All right, now we can continue with uh, our tutorial. But first, I will just uh, quickly explain particle distance. This is uh, some kind of um, remeshing and making it high poly. So as you can see, this is very high poly mesh. When you reduce the reduce particle distance, I recommend keeping it 20 for IMVU, at least for um, not complicated meshes, garments. It looks better and it will load very fast. Now, one tip when you finish your editing, you can remove uh, linked editing 
so you won't have to um, when you ch make changes on the one one panel it won't appear on the second one as well so you can edit the pattern and make it like look like uh, a bit different than the front one okay let's simulate all right it looks better now so let's go and make a sleeve we can go with rectangle as well okay remeshing again and let's just uh, make a edit curvature and in this case we can use two tools so we can do segment sewing, but we have to add another point here or we need to use, if we want to add another point, we have to use free sewing so we can just manually adjust those points and sews and seams. Uh, okay, but I'm going to add another point to split the line here and then I can choose segment sewing. But before this, we will make a use of our arrangement points. So let's just select leave, make those points appear over here and cho choose, uh, let's say this point. As you can see, it just snapped in onto the place and then we can just manually lower it to make it more uh, look and um, simulate better in this case. Okay, so we don't need those points anymore. Let's get rid of them. And now we can just sew the sleeve. All right, so this to this side, simulate. As you can see, it just simulates the sleeve very nicely. And let's just attach those points here and here. And over here just simulate again and we have almost finished t-shirt now you can edit this uh, pattern anytime simulate this again and will just quickly appear on the avatar all right so let's just make a copy of this sleeve because it looks nice just copy and we will now use mirror paste Let's play, paste it here. As you can see, it almost it is almost in a perfect position. Let's just manually adjust this. We can also use the points as before the arrangement points, of course. And we have to, uh, of course, sew it together. And let's just simulate. Great, and it almost looks finished. All right, now before we finish making this T-shirt. I can tell you something about the fabric and fabric uh, editor here. So we can choose preset of the fabric and uh, the simulation of the fabric will behave differently. As you can see on this uh, drop down menu, you have different kind of fabrics like canvas, oxford, plush, um, stretch, cotton and variety of different fabrics to choose from and if you just scroll through them let's just cycle quickly through them as as you can see on the 3d window they just change accordingly and if if you are satisfied with this result you can just go and continue with your work or you can expand the preset option and manually edit every single properties of the preset it doesn't look bad and it's just skin tight t-shirt so in the next tutorial i will explain how to make a uv maps um, adding adding textures and exporting this to your 3d software of choice thank you very much for watching see you in the next tutorial